has to evaluate what I want him to do, and the only way he knows how to do it is visually. He's not actually listening. I think I, he's been here three days, so what I'm trying to do is get him to respond to me. So, every little movement. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. There, yes, good boy. But this, he wants to perform. See that? He's trying to get clutch. what he knows I have, because I'm not coming out here without a ball. Yeah, like I put this vest on because I'm going to have two, one in each pocket. So I will always have what he wants. When I have a new dog, that's the key. Always have what he wants. Find out what he wants, make sure you have it, and actually make sure you have, you know, two balls. When you throw that first one, now you've given him the reason to perform for you because he doesn't know you. Once he knows you, he knows you give him everything he needs. But right now, I need to help him, I need to assure him every single time I come out that it's about a positive circumstance, not negative. You see how his ears are up and he's anticipating what I'm going to do. And what I haven't done is this. Good boy, look at the ears go down. See? See that? If you are able to see that, that's concerning to him because that's not why we're here. If he's in the house, that's totally normal. But out here, he's looking for this. Yes, he is. He's waiting for a command. Let's, here, here, here. Let's see the handler help. Sit. Let's. It didn't help but you get away from the help a little bit at a time. You just don't get a new dog that's been handled by somebody else and expect him to perform exactly the same way. You gotta help him. Like this, this is help. He doesn't know where it is. What's, he just knows that I have it. Everything your hands do with the new dog means something to him. So I'm wanting him to associate all good things with me. Even if he's had a negative experience with his first handler, I can change that. My first week with him is extremely important. Yeah. Good boy. Yes, it is. Yeah, good boy. Hey, yes. Good. <clears throat> Let's. He knows now that I have this and I'm going to build drive. Puck. Like that. Let's. Let's. See, I'm not forcing him to do anything. He's already trained. He knows what he does is right or wrong is by what happens afterwards. And so when I'm handling a dog, I want them to always be anticipating a reward. And if they don't get the reward, they're actually not fast enough, and that'll make them quicker. Watch, puck, stretch, still not fast enough. Puck, stretch, puck, stretch. Good boy, yes you are. That's the first steps you have, yes. Good. 
And then, you know what? He's not leaving me because, oh, but what I have is more important. Out. See that? Fuck. Fletch. This ball does not matter. It's the ball that I have. So when you go out with your new dog and he's ball driven, make sure you do actually have two balls. It really does matter. Fuck. Here, bud. Good boy. Out. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Why isn't he going for that one? Because the one I have is more important than that one. That one doesn't actually move by itself. I'm the one that creates activity and that's actually what he wants. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. <laughs> yes.